Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Africa CDC, says the pledge by rich countries over the weekend at the G7 summit to donate COVID-19 vaccines to Africa would help the continent achieve 60% of its inoculation targets. Correspondent Gideon Chale has the story. As part of U.S. President Joe Biden's initiative to help vaccinate the world against COVID-19, Washington has promised to donate 500 million doses of vaccines to be shared between 100 countries around the world. And Africa, through the Africa CDC, is expected to significantly benefit from this donation. Of the 500 million doses, 200 million will come, will be available this year. Uh, through COVAX and will uh, in, include the 92 countries or so that are in the advanced uh, mechanism for, for COVAX. And then the African Union has been explicitly mentioned in the communique. So we are very grateful for that. It will be a Pfizer vaccine dose that the U.S. will send to Africa and the rest of the world through this initiative. The Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says due to the strict cold storage requirement for Pfizer vaccines, precautionary measures must be taken to ensure effective utilization of the dose. You can use them easily in major cities where you have electricity and the minus uh, 80s or, or 70s uh, deep freezers. And those uh, deep freezers do not cause uh, uh, excessively, um, they are not excessively expensive. With 12 to 10,000 to 12,000 dollars, you can get a minus um, uh, 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 70 or 80 degrees. And that one of them can store up to about 300,000 doses of, of vaccines. So I think it's a question of, of having the vaccines in a timely and predictable manner. That way we can plan. Planning is key in any uh, 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 scale up or vast vaccination program. Africa has planned to vaccinate at least 60% of the 1.3 billion people in the continent to guarantee herd immunity against COVID-19. And the Africa CDC director, John Kengasong, says the U.S. vaccines donation will be an instrumental in trying to achieve that goal. We have to use a combination of vaccines to win this battle against uh, the COVID-19. So if the Pfizer doses start coming in, uh, our advice to member states will be to prioritize major cities. Then as other vaccines like Johnson & Johnson start arriving, because you can easily store them at, uh, at ordinary refrigerator, you can expand them to uh, the more uh, challenging areas or remote areas. Currently, Africa has faced a significant vaccine shortages, making its a goal of winning the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic a much more difficult task. But the continent is hopeful that with its hundreds of millions of Johnson & Johnson vaccines orders in the pipeline and many more jobs from other sources such as the Chinese government donations, it will soon hit the 60% vaccination target.